Hello, I am Elena Rangelova, the Technology Lead AI at the Netherlands eScience Center. I am pleased to introduce to you our creation. DIANA stands for Deep Insight and Neural Network Analysis. This Python package brings explainable AI or XAI to you. And you do not need to be an AI or XAI expert to use it. DIANA offers the same simple interface to three XAI methods or explainers, LIME, RISE, and kernel Shop, easily extendable with more. It works with the Open Neural Network Exchange or ONNX AI model standard. This is DIANA's dashboard with all data modalities supported by DIANA, image, tabular, text, and time series. The output of an explainer the explanation consists of the attributions of individual pixels, data features, words, or time intervals to the AI model's outcome. Blue color indicates negative relevances, white near zero values, and red positive. Let us briefly look at examples for each of the data modalities. Let us look at an image example of handwritten digit recognition. Here, we use Diana to explain a model pre-trained on images of handwritten digits 0 and 1. The task is to determine if an image of a digit is 0 or 1. We can select all the explainers and can modify their hyperparameters if we wish. We can also show the results for both classes 0 and 1. The visual explanations are displayed overlaid on the date of interest. The attribution of each pixel or superpixel to the classification is shown. We can zoom to the first heat map and observe that the sides of the zero matter most in classifying it as zero rather than one. Observing whether all the explanations agree can be a precious insight. Apart from classification, Diana can also explain regression models. Let's select a tabular example of sunshine hours prediction. The regression model predicts the number of sunshine hours tomorrow based on today's meteorological data, such as cloud coverage, humidity, pressure, and temperature. Selecting, say, lime and kernel shop, and the sixth data item, we see the attributions of the 10 most relevant meteorological variables to the model's prediction of nearly four hours of sunshine. For text, let's look at a movie sentiment model, which deems a movie review as positive or negative. The Lime Explainer, for example, produces the relevances for each word to the classification. We can see that the word grade contributes positive, positively to the positive classification and most negatively to a negative sentiment. Let's make the sentence even more negative by changing great but to poorly and. We can see now the classification changed to negative. And the word poorly contributes most positively to that and most negatively to a potential positive sentiment. Finally, let's see how Diana works on time series in a real scientific use case. An example scientific goal in radio astronomy is to detect fast radio bursts or FRB. A model is trained to distinguish FRB from noise from frequency time data. With the help of the explainer, we have verified that the model correctly separates the FRB from the surrounding noise. You can learn more about Diana by visiting the software registry page, which contains all the related artifacts or its extensive documentation. Try Diana as your explainability goddess.